Hello everyone, I'm Nathan from Bound Forest and I am the 3D, 2D and UX UI designer from uh, yeah, Bound Forest. And this video is to kind of give you guys a look behind the scene and this will allow me to kind of show you guys how I work and show my workflow and give some insights, my thoughts on some things. And um, yeah, since a lot of people have been um, complimenting the art style of the game, I figured it'd be a cool idea to kind of show you guys how I do things. And um, if you guys have further questions after the video, then you can comment those and then I'll be more than happy to, uh, yeah, to answer them. So the first program that I use is Blender. Now, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people know what Blender is. It's a 3D software and um, it's great. It's, it's, I love everything about it. It took a little while to kind of get into Blender due to the UI. At first it was really messy, but now that they've added all these options at the top, makes it so much easier. Um, so that's simply really great. Now, what you guys are seeing here is a little bit of a sneak peek. This is the A NPC for the, uh, yeah. It's an NPC that we'll be using. And um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. The clothing and arms still need some work, but I'm super happy with the face. Like he looks really old and a bit mythical. Yeah, really like how it turned out. Let me let me get you guys. Let me know if you if you guys agree or not. But uh, I'm quite happy with this. And um, yeah, this is just just to show you guys. Like this is what I kind of do. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys the whole progress because um, it does take some time to make these kind of models. But if you guys want a tutorial on this, then I uh, I'd be more than happy to provide you guys with one. And um, yeah, so let me know. So this is the first program that I use. Now there are other programs like Maya, Cinema 4D, um, 3D Max, I believe. Um, but the reason I like Blender so much is is the, first of all, it's free. So like if with Maya, if you make something and you're under the student license, you're not allowed to make any money with it. Um, that's not the case with Blender. So that's one thing I really like. And the, 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 the speed in which this program develops is, it's insane. It's, it's this close to being um, as good as Maya. In some aspects, I feel it's already better. At some sp aspects, it's, it's not yet. Um, but, but, but Blender's getting really close to, to absolutely nailing all these aspects. And I can promise you that if you if you if you dive into this program, you will not be disappointed, and it's going to be a huge skill to to you um, to learn. Now, um, Blender obviously is is my three D modeling um, program. I make trees, characters, bushes, all those cool things here. And unfortunately, I don't have that much time. To, to make this video. Uh, I only have like a few minutes to explain these kind of things, but um, it, it's great. You guys should have checked out. All right, so let's just jump to the next program that I, uh, that I use a lot, which is Photoshop, obviously. Now, for those who don't really have the budget that I have, um, Photoshop has a student version, which doesn't have like the uh, pay to uh, it, yeah, you just have a subscription, but if you're a student, you get all the all the perks. It, it's, it's great and it's not that expensive, but still, if you don't have the money, I would recommend GIMP 2.0. It's practically the same. It looks a little bit less professional and it does have a few things not included that Photoshop does have, but the main things, the most important things that you would need in a uh, photo editing program, they're in there. Trust me, it's great. It's what I used before I transitioned to Photoshop and it has served me well and it's great. But Photoshop is eventually going to be somewhat necessary if you wanna make like really high quality stuff. 
So let me just show you guys a little bit what I do in Photoshop. So this is something I've been working on lately. It's uh, it's a new way of kind of showing off how much health and stamina you have. Now, this is probably going to be changed, but I still felt that it looked pretty cool. The glowing effect and the way it's like really dynamically around the character. Um, but it comes with some issues, like if you zoom in with your, uh, with your arrow, bow and arrow, um, then these kind of things clip and block your view. So um, I'm working on something else that will also look pretty cool. So don't worry. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Ah, we have like a, a hover object. So if you hover over an object, this uh, shows up. Uh, other health system. This one could be better. It's, it's smaller and it doesn't like block your view which is great. Um, this is a other version. This is more of like Call of Duty so that your screen gets kind of cluttered. Uh, you see a bit less, but we didn't, we, we didn't really like that too much. So we skipped that one. Uh, this is a interact button. Well, it's not a button. It's just a, uh, a pop, pop up. If you get near to a tree, you can click that one. And subtitles. We're also working on subtitles because well, could be useful if you don't have audio or deaf or I don't know, it could be useful. Now, big tip is to always have different background images from the game. Because if you're making UI, which I do a lot, it is, yeah, you have to make sure that what you make is readable in different places. So be sure to kind of include that when you're doing stuff. It's like the biggest tip I can give right now. All right. Um, Final program that I uh, tend to use a lot is um, Adobe XD. And this program is primarily made for mobile development as well as web development. And well, you guys can see a sneak preview of a uh, prototype for the website that we are going to make for when the, uh, the alpha game launches. Uh, it's not finished. It's, it's just uh, a lot of placeholder images and um, but the overall feel is there, which I think is pretty cool. If you disagree, let me know in the comments, give me some tips. Um, but yeah, this is this is a great program. And something else I really like is that you can actually make things functional. So for example, if I press play, this full screen, you can make certain things interact with each other. Um, obviously they, they are not perfect yet, but as you can see, you can like make things interact. So if I go to home, I'm at the home page. If I press team, I'm at the team page. <laughs> That's me. Um, so it's a great tool to rapidly design websites or game UI, for example. And it's especially useful if you want to show what certain things do. So if you press on a button, what happens, what kind of animation plays. Those kind of things you can easily show off in this program. And, it, and, and as most developers know, time is money. So if you can make a prototype in just a few minutes, because this only took about 15 to 20 minutes to make, then that's a huge plus. Then you, there's almost no way you cannot use it. Um, can you make this in Photoshop? Yes. The layout, you'd probably be able to do so, but the interaction is so, so important. And as a UX designer or interaction designer, this really helps me kind of structure what I want to show off. Do I want to show off our devlogs or other information? Do I want uh, jobs? Like, do we have, do we still need people? Do we, do we, yeah, those kind of things, or do we, want people to follow us on our social media, which you should definitely do, by the way, links are in the description, then I can like test those things out in, in a really easy and efficient way. So yeah, that's, um, that's all I use actually. Blender, Photoshop, and uh, Adobe XD. Three programs and that's literally it. All you have to do now, Unfortunately, I haven't really been able to go in depth on how I make these assets, especially in 3D. But if you guys want a video on that, 
be sure to let me know in the comments because then I'll be able to maybe do a live stream on how I make these assets. Anything is possible. Uh, just need to kind of have some confirmation from you guys and then I'll, uh, I'll get to it. Now be sure to um, subscribe because a really awesome devlog is on its way. It's a little delayed, but that's because we're, 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 we're working on something so cool um, that it simply just takes a little bit more time to um, to get ready because when we show it off we really want you guys to be wild because at the moment we've only really been able to show off the character and the main menu and a little bit of uh the the the, the forest but then the next one you're you're really gonna be able to experience what the game will be like all right that's it guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye